Hey YouTube, how's it going? And welcome back to another Fallout 76 guide. Today I am going to be showing you how to get acid in this game. Acid is mainly used for smelting in this game because there is a lot of farming in this game for ores that you need acid to smelt down the ores like lead, crystals, all of that. So I'm going to be showing you the best acid locations and how to get a good amount by the end of this video i will show uh, i will have shown you multiple locations on where to get acid that you should come out with at least 200 plus and without further ado let's get in the video so the first location we are going to be going to is tanagra town it is just east of top of the world and once you spawn in you're actually going to be climbing up into this big structure right here so when you unlock this location, the best thing to do is actually just fast travel to Tanagra Town and you will end up right here near these fences and you will just find the route right here. You actually have to climb into it. So just follow the route I'm taking right now and you will end up where you need to go. The enemies that we are going to be fighting right here are crickets. Crickets will give you a decent amount of acid. They're not the only enemy in this game to give you acid. I know that Yogwai can give you acid and so can Snallygasters. So we're going to be looking for those uh, those enemies as well. But for now, Crickets are going to be our best friends. So when you make it to this part right here near the fridge, you're going to see this cave area. You're going to walk into this cave area. Be careful, Crickets pass, uh, do pack a punch so when you get into this place right here you're gonna see the crickets take them out and you will be able to farm this location to get acid just make sure you kill all the crickets because you don't want one of them sneaking up on you because as i said they do cause a lot of damage now since area loon is in the game you will be able to loot all of the bodies that you just uh killed here now once you kill the crickets in this small location right here you can actually go up into this location and you will see more crickets. Take care of them crickets. Make sure that uh, they're dead and you will be able to get a little more waste acid. Another quick tip about this location is once you walk into the room and you take, all, uh, take out all the crickets in this location, you will see these ores right here. I would recommend just putting on excavator power armor real fast and just going and getting all of these ores. It's just very useful just to have them and with the waste acid that we're getting right now you'll be able to smell them down into the gold crystals whatever you're picking up right here and without further ado let's get into the next location the next location we are going to is the deep it's just southwest of the map near the top of the world so you're just going southwest of the top of the world and when you spawn into this location you're just going to be going straight and you will see two crickets chilling in this location Go over and kill the two crickets. Get the acid. And when you get the acid from these two crickets right here, you're actually going to be going into the water. Follow the route that I take on screen right now. And when you see this pinkish purplish um, glowing light, you know you made it to the next location. Just make sure that you heal because you will get radiation uh, poisoning from that location. And there is going to be another cricket to your left. So just kill that cricket. Get the waste acid. That was also a legendary. So I'm just going to pick up that uh, legendary. You're going to continue past all of these starlight creeper berries. And you're going to just be following this tunnel right here. There's going to be a few more crickets in these tunnels to get more waste acid. Just follow the route i'm taking right now kill the crickets pick up the waste acid and when you get to this location right here with the stairs right there you know you reach the end you do not need to go any further but um Without further ado, let's get to the next location. So the next location we are going to is the flooded train yard. It's just east of Watoga. So once you spawn in, you're going to be going towards the actual train yard itself. And you're going to be seeing Snallygasters. We're going to be killing these Snallygasters because Snallygasters can give you acid. So just look around this location and kill all the Snallygasters you can see. 
The one thing about this location right here is, is that this is not a guarantee acid farm because the Snallygaster sometimes don't spawn here. Other enemies will. So if they don't spawn, you can always hop server and get a new server and the Snallygasters could spawn in. This is not a 100% not um, spawn for Snallygasters, but 9 times out of 10, the Snallygasters will spawn here for you. So just keep an eye out for that and... Without further ado, let's get to the next location. So the next location we're going to be going to is Dolly Sol's Wilderness. It's all the way east of Vault 76, all the way into the mire. When you spawn at Dolly Sol's Wilderness, you're going to be going straight towards the building and you will see your first Yogwai right here. Kill the Yogwai because Yogwai will give you some waste acid. Pick it up and then when you kill that Yogwai right there, you're going to be facing the building and you're just going to be going straight right behind it and you will see another Yogwai on the path right in front of you. Kill this other Yogwai and when you kill this one, you will be going to the next location. So the next location we're going to be going to is the Battlefield Cemetery. It's just northeast of Vault 76. Once you spawn in, you're going to be going to the car park just behind the building itself. And you will see another Yogwai. The next location you're going to be going to is Willard Corporate Housing. It's right next to Wavy Willards. Once you spawn in, you're going to go and kill the floaters. The floaters will then drop a pus sack that you can scrap into acid. The next location you're going to be going to is Hemlock Hall's Maintenance. This is right next to Wavy Willards again. It's just southwest of Wavy Willards. This is actual workshop. So what you're going to need is the acid extractors. You're going to need some generators. You're just going to power up each generator, uh, each extractor there's going to be three extractors you can place in this one area and every 20 minutes come back to this location and you will be able to get 10 acid from each extractor now that i've shown you several locations on where to get acid there is actually two events that are available at the moment that can get you more acid the first one being a colossal problem this is a world boss named earl williams when you go on to fight this boss, you will encounter Wendigos that he spawns in. If you kill these Wendigos, you can pick up their teeth and their teeth will give you some acid. You can easily come out of the event with 80 plus acid. So it is a good place to go and farm. The other event is called Moonshine Jamboree. Moonshine Jamboree is actually a new event in the game altogether. It just came out. And you basically defend the moonshine vats and all you have to do is kill the gulpers. So by the end of this acid run, I actually ended up with 212 acid. It is all RNG based on how much acid you get from the enemies. Sometimes you can get 7 or 8, sometimes you can only get 3 or 4. It's totally RNG. Sometimes you can come out with more, sometimes you will come out with less. I would highly recommend just checking out the first location I did, uh, did show you. You do get a decent amount of acid from that location. And if you hop server, the enemies are already respawned. So you will be able to go up. You'll be able to kill the enemies. You'll be able to get a nice bit of acid for just from that one location. But if you do end up following the whole guide, I would recommend just checking out that workshop that I showed in the video. Place down the extractors. Go back every like 20 minutes to check it out and just go to every other location I showed you and get the acid from the Yogwai, Snallygasters, the Floaters, all of the enemies that I showed you today will give you acid. Also, if people do end up doing a Colossal Problem or the Moonshine Jamboree does come into the game, make sure you go over. They are very good events to get acid. And I could not and I cannot recommend them enough. So without further ado, guys, if you liked what you saw here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one. Thank you and goodbye.